Along the shores of Sri Lanka's beautiful western coast, the waters seem calm now, but these world-famous sandy beaches are covered with strange white flakes. It's as if snow has fallen in this tropical climate, but a closer look reveals the consequences of what might be the worst environmental disaster in this island nation's history. In May of this year, a huge pillar of black smoke and flames appeared on Negombo's skyline. The Express Pearl, a Singapore-flagged container ship, had caught fire. It had anchored offshore, close to the port of Colombo, the capital city, after being denied permission to dock in India. A leak of highly corrosive nitric acid was detected in one of its containers, which most likely ignited the flames that raged for more than a week. When the ship finally started to sink in the shallow waters of little more than 20 meters, environmentalists became increasingly concerned about the possibility that oil and other dangerous chemicals from the ship's cargo might leak into the ocean. Close to 1,500 containers were aboard the ship, 81 of them containing dangerous goods, including 25 metric tons of nitric acid. Another problematic substance on the ship was methanol, a chemical used to make detergents and soap which can increase algae blooms, and sodium hydroxide which is toxic to marine wildlife. Yet the far bigger problem was the ship's largest cargo, over 400 containers filled with 78 metric tons of the plastic pellets known as nurdles. Millions of these pellets poured into the ocean and began washing up on the coastline. The pristine yellow sand beaches, normally popular with Sri Lankan as well as foreign tourists, quickly became covered in the tiny granules. The government banned fishing along about 80 kilometers of coast, a significant blow for a country where the industry makes up about 2% of the entire economy. These signs of pollution were recorded over a stretch of more than 300 kilometers along the western coast of Sri Lanka, where the Marine Environmental Protection Authority started to clean up the beaches. The nurdles also had an immediate environmental impact, seen in dead fish that washed up on shore with the plastic pellets in their gills and mouths. This is only the tip of the iceberg of what might soon turn out to be a huge disaster for the local marine life. These shores are a unique place on our planet. Several kinds of whales, large schools of fish, and huge flocks of seabirds cross thousands of kilometers of ocean to reach them. At the tip of India, Sri Lanka is the southernmost point of a huge tapering continental landmass. The island is bounded by a ring of fertile coastal plains. Rivers litter the country, and their minerals and organic matter are the perfect ingredients for an underwater paradise. High rates of freshwater discharge cause a bustle at sea that has nourished coastal communities for generations. Superpods of thousands of dolphins congregate in these waters. Local fishermen are guided by the ocean's greatest acrobats. Spinner dolphins are often found swimming alongside schools of tuna, a hard catch that's in huge demand among the local population. Sri Lanka is one of the only places on Earth where blue whales can be found so close to shore all year round. The waters are so nutrient-rich that the blue whales here don't migrate around the world, but instead have decided to make Sri Lanka their permanent home. Also drifting through these waters is a long-distance traveler who's coming home. The green turtle is one of five species of sea turtle that are born on these shores. After 20 years, she returns to the sun-drenched shallows of the beach she was born on to lay her eggs. Sea turtles in particular need clean and calm beaches, as only one in a thousand of the young that hatch and make it to the sea will end up surviving into adulthood. But the pollution from the plastic isn't just limited to local shores. 
It's hard to track the exact route of the nurdles, but a computer model developed by the University of Western Australia shows where the plastic pellets have most likely spread to already, and where they will continue to reach based on ocean currents, wind speeds, and ocean density changes. The nurdles could make landfall on the Indonesian island of Sumatra very soon. Later in the year, with the reversal of the monsoon, they're expected to circle back, washing up in India and again in Sri Lanka, this time on the east coast, as well as in the Maldives. The shipwreck itself might quietly join the many other trawlers and warships that litter Sri Lanka's seabed. But the environment will have to deal with its plastic pollution and toxic waste for many years to come. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I've been gone for a while now. I became a father recently and I want to take some time off and spend with my daughter. We will still be uploading wonderful and interesting content every Friday, so if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and turn the notifications on. And I'll be back next year. See you then.